Here's Hollywood. Brought to you by Gentle Fells, the dishwashing product that gets dishes sparkling clean. The only dishwashing product with lanolin D, the natural lotion. Get Gentle Fells for gentle hands. Jack Linkletter, and here's Hollywood. While Helen O'Connell is visiting at the home of actress Susan Oliver, I'm on my way to Beverly Hills to join one of the most happily married show business couples in Hollywood, actor, singer John Conti and his wife Ruth. John Conti's well remembered for his work as host and performer of the daytime dramatic series NBC Matinee Theater. For his first professional job, he carried a spear. Salary, $3 per show. In 1950, he had his own NBC TV series, John Conti's Little Show. On Broadway, he starred in Allegro and Carousel. In motion pictures, he was seen with Frank Sinatra and Man with the Golden Arm. In one minute, we'll hear how the Connies found a solution to a tough problem, combining a home life of togetherness and a show business career. We'll be right back. Gentle fells for gentle hands. Gentle fells for gentle hands. For gentle hands when you wash dishes. The answer to your wish is Gentle Fells for Gentle Hands. Any dishwashing product will get your dishes clean, but how many contain lanolin D, the lotion that treats your hands gently? Just one, Gentle Fells for Gentle Hands. Only Gentle Fells contains lanolin D, the natural lotion from lambs. Lanolin D protects against harshness, keeps skin soft and gentle. Gentle Fells is gentle enough for the tenderest skin of all, yet it gets dishes, even pots and pans, sparkling clean without spotting, streaking, or wiping dry. It's another of the Fells family of fine products. Gentle Fells for gentle hands. We're in Beverly Hills at the home of actor-singer John Conti and his wife and children. In fact, we have sort of a family portrait here. Here is Ruth and uh, John Charles, who's three and a half and almost a twin of hers, and then uh, Nana, uh, the nurse, and we have over here Christopher, 17 months, who looks just like John, I might comment. We arranged it that way, Jack, one of each. So your egos yes. are reflected down yes. <laughs> I'll pull it down here. John, do you know how your parents met? What? Why? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd like to get into it because you met at a party in New York, didn't you? Yes, it was very subtle, really. Um, mutual friends knew John, and I said, please invite John for brunch uh, to my apartment because I've been what? such an admirer of his for so many years. And now we've been married uh, almost eight years, and God has blessed us with these two beautiful children, and John just broke in a nightclub act a few weeks ago, and you know, he was so sexy on the floor, I fell in love with him all over all again. again. <laughs> That's a years. real testimonial if I ever heard We're going to join you all a little later, if you don't mind. Should we wander over here and come, come Jack? And talk? Let me play host here and uh, pour uh, you a little refreshment. I, I'd like to sort of uh, take the saying, you know, the man behind the girl. Ruth is in many, many ways, isn't she, for you? Maybe you'd like to list some of the, the ways. The girl behind the man. Right. Yes. Well, actually, um, I feel that... Uh, if a man is blessed uh, with a wife who has specific talents that can help him in his career, that uh, he should take advantage of them. And that's what I did with Ruth. She has been a businesswoman all her life, as well as being a, a lovely, talented person. And she's functioned wonderfully for me in my career. She mentioned the fact that uh, I just premiered a nightclub act. Well, this was part of, uh, I would say, um, the instigation was Ruth's because I've been studying very hard uh, vocally again with a wonderful teacher here named Paul Thompson. And uh, it's just been all study for the last year and a half, and she decided that it was time for us to kind of step out. So she went out and got a wonderful arranger, Russ Garcia, and was the catalyst in putting together a club act for me. And uh, in November of the past year, uh, we went on the uh, Sail with the Stars tour with the yeah. Matson Lines, and I premiered the act at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. And then she signed you to an exclusive record contract and formed a record company. Yes. She's an interior decorator. Yes, a woman of many facets, and I don't know how she manages them all, but our house 
functions beautifully and everything goes along fine and she even manages to feed me properly so that uh, I look Special diet? Yes, you know, so that I don't get <laughs> look oh, too yeah. chubby on camera. In fact, I remember her substituting for you on matinee. Well, she was my official uh, uh, substitute whenever I appeared in a play. She was the hostess and then I had to go into the hospital at one time for an appendectomy and she was on for two weeks straight and I almost lost my job, Jack. She got far more she fan mail than I ever did. I think <laughs> most men discourage their wives from, from taking such a strong part uh, and yet you have just taken the opposite attitude and it's worked out so well. Why? What? Well, our, I think our basic approach uh, in our marriage is that of being partners rather than being competitors. Your egos aren't fighting or right. anything that's so petty as that. And you know in our business and in this town, I think that's one of the major problems with couples who marry inside the business, so to speak, because both personalities are fighting for self-expression and in this way sometimes a lot of difficulties occur. But it hasn't in our situation well, and good. I couldn't be happier about it. Well, we're going to have to pause for one minute, then let's give Ruth a little self-expression in the next spot, okay? Fine. We'll be right back. Big floor wax news from Simon Eyes. Now you can pour a vinyl floor. Yes, now you can pour the toughness of vinyl right on linoleum, asphalt, rubber, anything. Simon Eyes brings you new formula vinyl wax, the tough new self-polishing floor wax that contains vinyl. Here's what an unprotected floor looks like under the microscope full of tiny pores that trap dirt. Now, see how this new vinyl wax formula seals that surface with the hard as nails toughness of vinyl that resists every kind of dirt and outwears other self-polishing floor waxes. So now you can pour a vinyl floor with new vinyl wax by Simonize. Now, for a limited time, get this Stay Soft sponge free with vinyl wax. Ordinary sponges like this get hard and dry, but Simonize Stay Soft never hardens even dry, it's soft and ready to use. So get Simon Eyes Vinyl Wax now during this special offer and get a Stay Soft sponge free. Hurry. Visiting with John and Ruth Connie in Beverly Hills in a lovely home, and um, uh, John was sort of paddling on you, saying that you were a professional interior decorator at one time, and that this was sort of your your, your grand challenge as, uh, for your own sake here at the home. That's true, it was. It uh, was an awfully dark, dreary house when we bought it. I think uh, the first day that John walked in and I said, this is the house I want, he thought I'd lost my mind. Well, Beverly Hills, this is interesting. It's all built up. They're only old homes, so what you really have to do is buy a home and do what you want to do with it. That's right, and that's what we did with this one. You lower the ceiling, panel the walls. Let's go I want the you to room. see the results of my handiwork. Uh. Uh. And Great do-it-yourself project here. What, what was the, do you have, a, for instance, a general theme in, in uh, decorating yes, the home? Yes, to brighten it up. The whole idea was to make it light and uh, happy looking inside instead of dark and depressing. So I went all out in uh, white. As you can see, white carpets, white walls, That's generally. the living room, Except this room, which uh, is the breakfast room, which is paneled. Again, John's handiwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, with white, white carpeting and all these light colors, of course, you have the bright accents. Uh, don't you uh, fear the little, the little demons with the muddy feet and the... Uh... No, not really. This uh, carpet is, is quite wonderful. It doesn't seem to show footprints. They sort of disappear. I was told that it had some sort of thing in it that uh, sort of absorbs the dirt. It's so and thick, it, your feet sort of it's disappear. It's working right? very well. Yeah. Uh, we also were talking about this uncanny business sense of yours. How, how does a woman go about getting a background or know-how in business? Well, I started uh, very young, and uh, I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, and I opened a chain of finishing schools in, uh, well, first I started with one in Atlanta, and it was so successful that I branched out to six southern states. So this was, this was in fact, you followed this up. You, when you were in radio in New York, you gave advice on... Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I had uh, radio and television shows in uh, the southern states, and uh, we went into all phases of... Uh, Feminine perfection, I call it. Well, getting away from your, your family for a second here, what would, in talking about feminine perfection, what would you say is the biggest error or, or lack in, in women today, personality-wise? Well, I think that uh, insecurity is usually the cause of the, uh, the problems that most women you have. Marital insecurity? Oh, no. I mean, insecurity within themselves. And I think that uh, once they recognize that they're uh, are certain faults that they have and there are certain potentials that they have and learn how to uh, minimize the faults and accent all their potentials, why then I think they 
they are happier within, and once they're happy within, why, they radiate a, a sort of a glow and have a lovely, secure personality. You know, it stems from, uh, well, things like uh, a nice posture and learning how to do your hair and your makeup, uh, everything that, that makes you feel that uh, you look good when you look in the mirror. Both shining examples. In fact, I have to watch my posture. John sitting so straight, and John's dressed so well. In fact, you, you won the Men's Apparel Guild Award, didn't you, for being one of the best dressed men in TV? Yes, I did, Jack. Pick your own clothes, or is the wife influence here, too? Well, Ruthie has a marvelous sense of color and texture and design, and uh, we usually work together on it. Actually, I pick out a lot of her clothes. That's true. We go shopping together always. Now, what, how do you find time? Uh, I imagine every woman's curious about this. You're a, you're a mother of two children. You, uh, we'll put in quotes, the perfect wife. Uh, the take business. the quotes off. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want to take her quotes <laughs> off. <Thank you. laughs> uh, being your business, uh, handling your business, how do you find the time? How do you organize it? Well, I try to plan each day, and of course, I'm very fortunate in uh, the wonderful nurse that I have. That makes a big difference. You make a regular and schedule, yes, write down, uh -huh. discipline yourself. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the idea of having a record company, of, of signing up your, your first star here? Well, I thought he was so great, somebody should put him on a record, and I thought, why shouldn't I be the one to do it? Well, this is novel, though, to, to form your own record company, recording company, and mm -hmm. uh, have you done, have you been exposed to recording before, or? Uh, not really to the record company business. My father had a a lot of uh, varied and different businesses, but uh, not really record company, but I did use one of his business names, Chattahoochee, for the label of my record company. With Cougamooga and Chattahoochee and all those names you, coming you out. You have to sneeze, you know. You have to say one of those. Chattahoochee. It's been a real pleasure visiting with both of you. Thank I you, Thank Jack. you so much for letting us invade your home. Jack, it's thank been our, you. our delight. Well, thank you very much, and I'll be back with you in just one minute. If early morning finds you weak, listless, without pep, too tired to face a day's work, you may suffer iron deficiency anemia. Ask your doctor. In such cases, doctors usually prescribe an iron tonic, and two out of three of these prescriptions are for ferrous sulfate, the same iron contained in ironized yeast. Yes, a study of 40,000 prescriptions proves that two out of three prescriptions written for iron are for the kind of iron in ironized yeast. Ironized yeast builds strength fast. In just seven days, you can start to feel your old self again. Look at Dorothy now, worked all day and has energy to spare. So get ironized yeast, 60 tablets, only 90 cents. If you prefer an iron tonic in liquid form, get this brand new formula, pleasant tasting super ironized yeast. We call it super because we've loaded this iron tonic with high potency multivitamins. Remember, build strength fast with ironized yeast, liquid or tablet. Here's Hollywood, brought to you by H.J. Heinz Company, makers of the 57 varieties, including delicious Heinz condensed soups, the hearty soups with the homemade flavor, Heinz.